steps to recommend when initiating opioid therapy. That's important. First, the whole conversation we just had about how to pick the right opioid to begin with. I am very uh, careful to start at a conservative low dose, particularly if it's an around-the-clock dose. So my personal philosophy is the regularly scheduled dose should be fairly conservative so the patient won't get into trouble. But I don't want anyone to suffer because I'm uh, I guess a big weenie here, so I give them an adequate breakthrough dose in case they have an increase in pain, they can take a, a dose of their rescue medication. I think it's important for people to be extremely well educated about their medications. You know, there are several things everyone should know about their drug. The name of the drug, the brand name, the, the um, generic name, the dose they should take. What do they do if they forget a dose? What are the side effects? What do I do if they get those side effects? How long will it be before I start to see the therapeutic effect from this medication? Can I take it with food, avoid food? drinks, activities I should avoid. So people should be very well educated about their medications. I also think that it's important for people to keep a pain diary. So for example, if someone has persistent pain and they're getting their drug around the clock, but then they may have a rescue medication available, I think it's important to record your best, your worst, and your average rating of pain for the day. And then if you take a dose of your rescue medicine, what is your pain before you take a dose of your rescue and one hour later? So that I can judge, was that an effective dose of that medication? So start low, go slow, get good data, and document everything.